This week, I added the tutorial. That's it. I mean, it was a big thing, but that's it. My, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 63 of my devlog series, Atollus Pet. I fully revamped the tutorial. If what I had before you would consider a tutorial, I made it completely different. The tutorial is now almost complete, fully interactive, and more in depth. I'll play a little clip of it now. Don't watch if you don't want any spoilers, but to be honest, it's not really spoiling anything and it might just help you play the game anyway. So here it is. Why not try to place one of each and preferably on the ground? Let's start with the office. Now the clinic and the hub. Great. Now we need to hire some workers. I had to do a few different things this week to get to where I am with the tutorial. The first was to finish the script. For the most part, the content I had finished from last week's script is pretty much the same. I just need to change around some of the wording and how I structured it so it fit well with my tutorial manager. Speaking of tutorial manager, let me show you some of my code. The tutorial is split up into different steps corresponding to different player actions, behaviors, and dialogue. For example, let's take a look at a few of the steps. This is the step for introing the clinic. The player isn't doing anything here, which is why all the tutorial actions are empty or null. For this step, you automatically progress to the next step once the dialogue finishes, which is why there is this little checkbox here. The audio clip says what the clinic is and what it does. And to reinforce this, I wanted to actually bring up the clinic menu. So I enabled the building UI once the step is playing, just to show the player exactly what it is. Now let's look at the place office step. This step requires an action, which is to place the office. There is display text that shows exactly what you need to do and how to do it, and you won't move on in the tutorial until you complete this step. Down on the room action, this script is actually checking the statistic manager for an increase in the number of offices, which is actually kind of funny because I didn't realize this is how I'd do it before, but I had the statistics manager already set and this kind of just worked out pretty well. Finally, let's take a look at the watch out leecher step. I wanted to have a leecher spawn at a specific time in the tutorial to let the player know exactly what it is because at least from the demo it seemed like there's a little bit of confusion which is partially because of my not so great pixel art for the leecher uh, but also because i never really explained it too well this is why i have an array of game objects that will spawn once you get to that step right now the only thing i spawn in any of the steps is a leecher and it's only a single one and there is some hard code with that, which isn't the best, but it works for right now. Well, this is really nice because if I want to add more objects to spawn later, or if I want to change when the leecher spawns, I can pretty easily change that. These are just a few of the, I think I have 39 steps <laughs> of the tutorial, but they show the basic functionality. To make things a little bit more clear, I have display text that shows you what you need to do, depending on if there's an action you need to do or not. And also the commanders will animate whenever each one of them is talking. I was having a little bit of trouble with the animation and the root motion, but I just set up the animation so the way I animate it doesn't affect things weird. Um, and it ends up working out decently well. Like before, there's still the option to replay the like before there is still an option to replay the tutorial and you can also jump straight into the gameplay although it should be set up that i can change the ui between the game scene and the tutorial scene and it should match up i did some prefab stuff i really don't want to i mean i think there is still some stuff i need to change for both um, so i'd rather not i'm pretty happy with the ui generally as is so i can change it if i need to but i, I probably won't so that's the bulk of what I did with the tutorial. Honestly, I'm I'm really happy with it so far. It's still not fully complete, but I am pretty proud of it. Like probably out of anything in this product right now, this has probably got to be the part I'm most proud of. The code is a little bit cleaner than most of the other things. And I think some of the way I did certain things are pretty clever. I wish I could say that about the rest of my code, but I am pretty happy with it. I'm gonna to try to finish everything up for the tutorial next week. It is kind of a bit tedious with the arrays and, and setting all the variables and stuff, but that's kind of the way it is. I also need to re-record um, the the video I made for it because I was I was out of focus with it, so uh, so I gotta remake that. With the tutorial almost done, the game is really nearing release. I gotta do a few more bug fat passes <laughs> and balance the game, but once I do that then we're pretty much done. I don't want to confirm anything yet, but my original plan making this game was to release in May, 
And looks, it's looking like I'm going to stick with that. I'm aiming for the week of May 3rd sometime then, uh, which is also my final week, which hopefully won't have too much of an impact on things. So be in the lookout for sometime early May. I hope to get up a trailer in the next upcoming weeks as well to try to generate a little bit more hype. But to be honest, that's not the thing I'm really worried about at this point. My question is, do you celebrate Easter? And even if you don't, how are you just celebrating the holiday? Uh, personally, my family, we are coloring Easter eggs and it may seem a little bit childish, but it honestly is, is fun. Um, we get some cool looking eggs. I mean, maybe not me, I mean, my sister's a better artist, uh, but it is a good time. If you enjoyed and are itching to play the game, you can play the Space Prevention Force demo linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I want you all to know that I love you, I care for you, and I am there for you. If you need anything at all, please message me through Discord. I am more than happy to help and talk to some of you wonderful people, all of you wonderful people, to be honest. Anytime, just let me know. Until next time, from me and the commanders, we're saying goodbye, and we will see you in the next devlog for some more fun. Bye, everyone.